audience, my name is Brian Eisenhower, and I'm the Director of the Office of Environmental Sustainability here at Plymouth State University, and also a member of the faculty. It's my pleasure to have the opportunity today to speak with you about what we as the Plymouth State University community have done to improve our sustainability and our resilience. At Plymouth State University, we have a long-standing commitment to reduce our carbon footprint. And we do this by both working with students, faculty and staff as a community, and also thinking about how we produce and purchase energy. One of the more exciting projects that we've had over the years is the solar array you see here on top of Hyde Hall. We did it uh, six years ago as a pilot project, and I'm happy to share that for the last few years, it's not only worked very well, it's been the cheapest electricity we purchased for campus. Making electricity from renewable sources is part of our continuing mission to not only produce energy and operate more environmentally friendly ways, but also to keep costs down for our students. And while solar is one of the more exciting parts of sustainability, the other equipment you see up here is also important. Part of the air recirculation, heating and cooling systems that keep our energy use low in the first place. One of the questions that people are curious about quite frequently is, is the solar array on top of Hyde Hall enough to power the whole building? The truth is that we approach electricity and solar production on campus by maximizing the use of the space we have. We have large electricity needs, so we're going to size it to put the maximum amount that we can contribute to our campus grid. Truth be told, in summer, this array might produce more than Hyde Hall needs. In winter, it might be slightly less. At Plymouth State University, of course, the most important work we do is with our students. And I'm happy to share that sustainability is no exception. We have academic programs, classes relevant to a diverse set of majors, and here at the Office of Environmental Sustainability, we have a resource center for our entire campus community, and we also employ a team of eight to 10 students to do outreach to others. Through this combination, we know that it's behavior change, technology, and thinking about sustainability as a holistic approach that will be most successful.